Good morning, Turkey! He said that the breakfast is not going to be normal. And I said, no, it's going to be okay. So, yeah. Um, well, it's something still food. so... At the end of the day, uh, my expectations of perfect breakfast uh, were not realistic uh, because nothing seemed like it was a breakfast. Uh, the eggs were super overcooked. It were the one of the worst eggs I have ever had in my life. Uh, and it's funny that Sergei was saying that I'm like, it's gonna be breakfast, good breakfast, and he was like yes don't expect too much and i'm like no it's gonna be good and when we went there it was i don't i don't even know how to explain it it was one of the most horrible breakfasts in my life and i hope it was the last in any case uh, no matter how our breakfast was we continued our walk around the trap zone in Trapzone there is an extensive amount of places to visit, but we had a limited time, so we just tried to cover the highlights. One of the highlights of Trapzone is the historical Bedestin Bazaar. This place is considered one of the most colorful and vibrant uh, structures, which is approximately 300 meters uh, from the Trapzone city center, which dates back to the 16th century. Bedestin Bazaar used to be the main place to buy good quality textiles such as silk or cashmere, jewelry, ornaments and other valuable things. Uh, later on this historical place uh, changed its context and became kind of a shopping center that offers traditional and local products. We found there a lot of different clothing, a lot of souvenirs, handicrafts and other traditional items. We didn't explore the inside of the building a lot, but even outside of the bazaar uh, there are a lot of small shops. Near the bazaar we also found uh, a lot of grocery shops where locals sell fresh fruits and vegetables and a lot of different fish. Considering that Trabzon um, is uh, the city on the Black Sea coast, um, seafood is a specialty, particularly anchovies are the most popular among locals. The shops uh, were very clean, uh, not smelly at all to our surprise because we have seen many fish shops where it doesn't smell very well. Uh, we were leaving Trabzon that day, but if we were to stay there longer, we would definitely buy something. Uh, we checked out of the hotel um, and we have next bus at 5 p.m. which will take us to Pyrame in Cappadocia. Uh, so we have a lot of time. We have like five hours ahead. So uh, we are thinking to have another walk in the center of the city. Uh, to check some more places. Um, the forecast says that it's gonna be rainy. So let's hope that uh, we will make it on time, see some more places and then we'll just stay somewhere and wait there. So let's see. Next, we decided to visit Zagnos Vadisi, which is also known as Zagnos Valley. 
It's a very nice city park situated near Trabzon city center. This area is surrounded by ancient Byzantine walls and has been restored to beautiful greenery park with a great view from the old bridge. If you want to see the old Trabzon buildings and have a rest in a green area with a lot of ponds, canals, wooden bridges and pavilions, this is a great place to stroll in. Uh, the park features nice green areas and if you enjoy the company, uh, there are some ducks and rabbits as well. From down in the park on top of the gorge, uh, you can see the remnants of old city wall and a lot of old nice houses. Uh, it's a great place to stop and have some rest if you are walking around the city and don't have much to do. Trabzon is um, known for a lot of rainy days, but we were lucky that time. Here we are, leaving Trabzon. Our next station is Germe. Cheers. This is the most, most weird kind of water I have seen before. Why can't you just make a bottle? For me? Well, how are you feeling? I'm tired. Around 15 hours. 15 hours, that's horrible. Well, at least uh, half of it will be night. So maybe you will sleep as long as there will be no children. We'll build pyramid at 8 a.m. Yeah, that's amazing at 8 a.m. But we have check in at what time? Check in in the hotel. Maybe. Well, maybe, so. Yeah, it's around 12, so we will have to do something meanwhile. And we are hoping there will be no rain. Yeah, yeah but we have been. Actually, even today, uh, according to forecast, it was supposed to be rainy in the middle of the day in Germe, uh, in perhaps, yeah. And we were uh, having a walk and we were scared that it would rain any time. But it didn't. It never rained, so... Oh, nice building. <laughs> Sorry, can't show you. So the forecast is changing like... It can change like any other. Like sometimes it's saying it's rainy and it's not. Or it's good weather and then it's rainy. But of course, you still need to have a look at it anyway. Uh, but uh, you shouldn't change your plans because of that. Be because we had a wonderful day today and no rain at all. So we try to stay positive. So see you in Germe. <laughs>